Hey guys, today we are going to be creating a picture using warm and cool colors to create a strong contrast. So in this one, we are doing a seahorse with some fish in the background. Notice that the seahorse is yellow, orange, and red, and the fish are yellow, orange, and red, and the background is all blues and greens, so our cool colors. So we have a strong contrast or strong difference between our warm colors and our cool colors. Cool colors are colors like green, blue, and purple. They look cold. When we're in class, when we learn those, we touch and we say, brr, cold. And our warm colors are colors that look hot, like yellow, orange, and red. When we touch them, we say, woo, hot. So we have a strong contrast between those two groups. Since these two groups are opposite each other on the color wheel, when you put them together in art, they're really gonna stand out. If I had colored in my seahorse purple, or green, it still would look really cool, but it wouldn't have stood out and made you notice it as much as it does when I color it in warm colors against the cool colors because it makes it really stand out. First, we have to learn how to draw the seahorse. Now, on this picture, I have it turned up and down, but I'm gonna turn this one sideways so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm gonna draw with a, with a marker or a pen here so you can see my lines a little bit better but you need to start with a pencil. So make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil to start. To draw the top of the seahorse's head, we just kind of draw a small rainbow arch. So that's your first step. Just a small rainbow arch. Next step, we're gonna draw the snout or the nose of the seahorse right here. You go straight line out. Little baby rainbow arch bump on the end of the nose. Then you do a small line down. And then come back in. Okay? If I'm going too fast, remember to pause this and rewind it. That's the good thing of having Miss Hoffman on a video. You can pause and rewind me. Then I'm going to draw a little nostril right there and a line for the seahorse's mouth, okay? And out of his little nostril, I can even draw some bubbles. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Making some bubbles underneath the water there. All right, next, we're gonna draw the seahorse's back. So we wanna draw a straight line. So it kinda looks like a lowercase r, do you see that? Okay, now we're gonna do a curved tail. Right here, we're just gonna go up like this. Make sure you're doing this with pencil, so if you mess up, you can erase. We're just gonna go curve up, kind of like a letter C. And then curve back down. Next, we're gonna connect underneath his chin right here to his tail with a round little belly. Seahorses typically have round little bellies. So we're gonna go round little belly. If it turns out too round, you can always go back and erase. I'm gonna give him a little side fin by kind of almost drawing a sideways letter V right there with a scalloped edge, some lines in it. So I went diagonal line, diagonal line, connect little scalloped edge. Now we're going to give him a spiky mohawk, okay? Kind of give him some scales, protect himself underneath that water. So we're going to give him triangle spiky mohawk. It's kind of like drawing a zigzag line all the way across the top of his head, all the way down his back. And all the way across his tail. Okay, now he's missing something. What's he missing, guys? He's missing an eye, so we're gonna give him an eye. So you can make it any type of eye you want. You can just do circle dot like that. You can give him an eyelid. You can give him a fancy eye, whatever you want. Any type of eye you want. A plain dot, polka dot would be fine too. Now we want to add a little bit of a background. So I'm gonna do some seaweed. I'm gonna do a squiggly line up, squiggly line down, just in a couple of places just to add a little bit more depth to my picture. And I'm gonna draw some fish that are close up 
and some fish that are far away. This one we're gonna make far away. We're gonna do a little bitty oval with a sideways triangle, like kind of like a letter V that fell over on its side with a flat top. Frowny face on the top, smiley face on the bottom, a little eye and a little mouth. And then over here I might do a bigger fish. Make sure that the camera can see what I'm doing. Maybe he's swimming in towards the seahorse. Do kind of half of an eye shape, half of an oval shape. Okay, you can do jellyfish, sure, like a rainbow art shape with a flat bottom with squiggles. Maybe some are close up. Maybe some are far away. You decide what you want to add. Now, when you color this, you're going to want to make your seahorse warm colors. Remember, those are colors that look hot. Say woo hot. So those are the colors that look hot. And you're gonna want your background to be cool colors. That way your fish and your seahorse really stand out from the background to create what we like to call contrast. I'd love to see this if you make it. Share it with me. Bye guys.